So today we're having a terrific weather. It hasn't been like that in weeks. So that means that that's a great excuse to make the video I've been wanting to, to do for a long time. And that is uh, how to do a long exposure effect without an ND filter. So yeah, let's. Uh, I'm going to start packing my things. I'm going to grab my bicycle and I'm going to see you right at the location. So the funny part though is that I came here like because I thought it was going to be a terrific spot because there's a dam really close to my house and when I got here, let me show you real quick, there is no bloody dam today. I think the level is quite alright so they don't need to turn it on so that's a little bit of a disappointment but still, I'm going to ride the bicycle, go all the way in there and I'm gonna try to go to this path right here. All right, see you there. All right, so here's the thing, right? The reason why I decided to come here is because in order to get this special effect, we need some sort of movement. Alright, so all you need to do now that everything is set up is you're going to take a picture every two seconds for around a minute. So this is going to be something like this. Photo one, two, photo one, two, photo one, two, photo one, two, photo one, two. And you get the idea. So at the end you're going to end up with 60, around 60 photos or 30 photos after one or two minutes. And we're going to take those photos into the computer. So now that everything is over, let's take this into the office and let's process those photos. There we go. So now we are at the office. It is the day after, as you can see. Uh, unfortunately, yesterday I did not have the time to finish the video, but we're going to continue today. So without any further ado, let's jump into Photoshop. All right, so first things first, we're going to locate our photos. In my case, I already have everything right here and I already converted everything into JPEGs. I decided to go with this photo right here. Let me just expand it a little bit so you can see it better. I'm not getting into any detail about color grading and editing. So I'm going to jump straight into this particular technique. So I'm going to open Photoshop and that is our, and that is going to be our final image right there. Alright, so all we have to do is click on File, we're going to go down to Scripts and then Load Files into Stack. It's very important for you to keep all the photos within the one folder. So we're going to go to Browse, once we've located all the photos, we're going to get them all. So we're just going to click Open. And this is very, very important, guys. This is the most important step of the entire thing. We have to click on Create Smart Object After Loading Layers. Now, the second one is Attempt to Automatically Align source, uh, source Images. Sorry. So here's the thing, right? Since I decided to make the photos one by one, every time you click the shutter button, you make a slight movement on your camera. So I strongly advise you that if your camera has a time-lapse setting, by all means, do make sure you use that. Uh, for this particular example, I will click on this box, but if you shoot all the photos with a tripod without touching the camera, you do not need to click on that because that is going to take quite some time to process, all right? I'm going to go ahead and click OK. So this is going to take some time according to your computer. It might take you some seconds, it might take you up to some minutes or even like a couple of hours. Alright, so that took roughly about a minute, a minute and a half. So as you can see on this part, we've got our smart object ready to go. So I swear to God, this does not get any easier than this. We're going to head up to layer. Once we're here, we are going to go to smart objects. We're going to click on stack mode and we're going to click mean. Once we click that, you're going to see the magic before your eyes and voila, there you go. So the only thing that is actually driving me crazy is this little dot right here, which I did not see while editing the photo. So to fix this, it's actually rather simple. 
I'm going to go ahead and click on layer, flatten image. I'm going to um, duplicate that layer. I'm going to go to my healing to, um, tool. I'm going to sample this bar right here. There you go. Problem solved. So as you can see, like the final image is something like this. So what I did is this is what we started. That's uh, minus the dot. For, for my taste, that was maybe a little bit too green, so I add a little bit of blue. And then I just added some uh, lens flare to get that full effect. And yeah, that is absolutely it. The technique itself is very simple and uh, the results are quite good, to be honest with you. All right, guys, so just to sum everything up, all we need is a tripod and a camera. And if your camera does have one of those time lapses uh, software, it will be more than perfect. So ideally, you have to wait two seconds before taking the next frame, and you're going to repeat the process for at least two minutes to get like a decent amount of photos to work with. So yeah, that's how you can fake long exposure during the day without any ND filter. I think this is a very fast and easy way to do it. So if you like this video, make sure you go bananas on that like button, subscribe, and I will catch you on the next one.